George, I'm glad to see y'all looking so happy now. And folks, we want to welcome you to the old corral again. Get your familiar places up there on the top rail, and we'll see if we can not dish out a few tunes you're going to like. In fact, I'm going to call on Sally and little Cupid Dolph to come <laughs> start us out here. Dolph, I want you to join Sally there and sing that favorite Echoes of the Hill. I sure will, Pappy. Echoes of the
the story time now, kids. Don't might as well tell it. You know, I was reading the other day about dreams and what they were supposed to mean, which brought to mind a peculiar thing that happened to Elk Barton, a fellow I know years ago. It was a long time ago when Elk was prospecting out in the Mummy Ridge. He'd been there for now under a year, most of the time alone, and being out of touch with human beings had given him that extra sense that men get in the wilderness. Well, one night after a hard day of work, panning the stream uh, with no result, Elk had a funny dream. He dreamed that he was cutting across the range when suddenly a big white wolf appeared in front of him, looked at him, and then trotted away as though he wanted to be followed. So Elk followed him, not, not shooting. And sure enough, the wolf kept in sight and soon led Elk to a deserted mine in the side of a cliff. And then Elk dreamed that he went into the mine and found it full of gold, tons of it. But just as he was about to start out of the mine, there was a loud roar and a landslide covered the entrance. And there was Elk inside with all that gold, trapped and doomed to die. Well, when Elk woke up, he was in a cold sweat, but tried to remember where that mine was. And for the next month, he searched that range for the spot, figuring all the time how he would go about fixing things so that the mine wouldn't trap him. But he never found the mine, and soon he gave up the search. About a year later, he was working another region where he'd never been before, but somehow it seemed familiar to him. But try as he could, he wasn't able to remember why he seemed to know the spot so well. Then one night, as he was returning to his cabin, he heard the howling of wolves. As they drew closer, Elk readied his Winchester and waited. Suddenly, a form loomed in the darkness, and Elk fired. Well, in that second of flash, Elk saw that he'd shot at a white wolf. Well, for a second, his hands trembled as he recalled his dream. Then he lit a torch of pine limb and went to the spot where the wolf had been when he fired. There were blood stains on the ground, and Elk began to tremble with anger. He had shot the beast that was going to lead him to gold. Cussing himself, he started out to follow the trail. It led along the side of the mountain, and Elk soon found himself walking where there was practically no place to walk. All at once, he remembered the other part of his dream, of being trapped in that mine, and he halted. Well, for about ten minutes, he argued with himself, and then he decided to return to the cabin and follow the trail next day when it was light. As he started back, a sudden roar echoed across the valley. Elk leaned against the steep mountainside and waited. When the roar died down and nothing happened, Elk's courage returned and he lit a fresh torch and started forward again. But he hadn't gone more than 100 yards when he rounded a curve in the trail and almost stepped out over a precipice. And then's when Elk's blood froze. That precipice hadn't been there 20 minutes before. A fresh landslide, the roar that her elk had heard, had just carried away that part of the mountain. It had carried the white wolf with it, too, because the blood tracks had ended where the landslide began. The landslide that elk would have walked into if he hadn't stopped to think about that dream. Just goes to show you that dreams do sometimes mean something. And now, Skeeter, that's my story, and talking about dreams reminds me of a song you used to sing. When you think of dreaming, you think of sleeping, and I'm thinking of Sleepy Real Grand. Remember it? Yeah. Sing it. Play that waltz again.
grocery. Sorry, but we're going to have to lock up the old corral for this time. But we'd sure like to have you with us the next time we gather for a little song fest. So long, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.